Bounds National Park in the town of Bounds on a snowy Saturday evening. Not heavy snow, but boy, it's nice to have a bit of snow falling. It's been very, very dry this winter so far. So I'm up by, of course, the springs here. And even though we are into January, all the lights stay up. It's not really a Christmas lights so much as a festival of winter. And our winter goes on for a long time, although this has been a warm one. There is William Van Horn there pointing out to his million dollar view, the conference center. But I just thought I would take everyone down for a nice little ride here down towards Banff Avenue. So stick with me for a couple of minutes. I am on my bike here. Of course, I have a winter fat bike. Uh, it's significant because I have spike tires. Makes a difference. I might just come into view. There I am. <laughs> There's the shadow. But uh, here in the town of Banff, we're fewer than 9,000 permanent people, but boy, oh boy, we've had thousands of visitors over the holiday season. As far as I'm concerned, everybody's welcome, provided they respect the fact they're in a the national park. Seems like a pretty fair trade-off all around. But we're just gonna head down here, oh, about a kilometer or so, and we'll come and find beautiful Banff Avenue. Nice to see the snow falling. My bike's great on the ice. Uh, not to do any product placement, but it's a moustache, or mustache Sam Z, French brand. Um, and it is an e-bike, so it does have some real torque to it if I want it. Uh, it's for climbing hills. And uh, we're about minus five degrees Celsius right now. That's about 22 Fahrenheit. So had we turned right, we go down to the Gold Falls. But it's dark down there, of course. Now, stick with me as we come up around the corner. We'll start to see more lights of Banff coming up here. As we get up by the Banff Administration Building. Of course, this is Canada's first national park. And uh, the Dominion Park Service was established in 1911. That's the oldest park service in the world. The building, though, was built in the 1930s. It's when the Canadian government didn't have a lot of power back then. And there was really no welfare during the Great Depression, so they created these work projects. So a lot of the iconic buildings in the national parks date back to that difficult period in history, uh, the interwar period. But look at the lights just coming into view. I hope you're enjoying the snowflakes coming down. I certainly am. Uh, although I do wear clear sunglasses in the evening when I'm biking. I took them off just to set the screen up here. So the flakes are hitting my eyes a little bit. And now we are coming up way in the distance. You can see lights way up inside of the mountain. That's Mountain Orkway. And that is our closest ski area. Uh, there's three in the park. You see a nice bus service here. All right, I have to come and wait for the cars to come down. Seems like a fair deal. But then, no more traffic. So we'll just zip through here and head down to the bridge itself and come down. I just want to curve around and see the trees. I hope that's where they do the spirit of Christmas over the holiday period. Uh, the lights go up at the beginning of December generally. So we celebrate all the holiday period. Um, and this year, over, last year, of course, Hanukkah overlapped with Christmas. This year there's separate dates. So that just made for more parties all around. All right. Are you ready for the curve around the corner? Here we go onto beautiful, beautiful Banff Avenue. And there we are now. It's nighttime here. Before daytime, you've been seeing gorgeous Cascade Mountain out in the distance. But this is the nighttime view. So I'll just come across to the edge here and call it a day or call it a video. Uh, thank you for connecting. And do join us on Facebook at some point. To me travel, same name. Join us for a live virtual tour because we do quite a lot of them. There's the Banff Park Museum over there. Or hey, come join us in Banff anytime you like. It's pretty beautiful. So, 